In case you're so rich that you have never even heard of torrenting, it is a peer-to-peer -peer rarely illegal file sharing system. When you run a .torrent file, your client detects peers who already have Game of Thrones, um, GTA 5, uh, um, any legal file that you want. Each peer connection gives you a piece of your movie and eventually you collect all the pieces. So here's what we are going to do. Read a .torrent file which gives us the address of Tracker. Tracker is a centralized server that responds to get requests. Then we'll request a list of peers from Tracker. Next, we'll shake hands hands with the peers like a good boy. And finally, download pieces and write to this. You can do this in any programming language that you want. Yes, really, I won't force you. Now firstly, you're going to write a parser that decodes your torrent file from BE encoded to BD encoded. That is nothing but a dictionary. This is the BE encoded format. You'll write four simple functions that will each process a different data type and one function that decides which function to call. After decoding the torrent data, you'll see some very important values such as announce that gives you the tracker's address and info that gives you info about the pieces. This will be of importance later, don't forget it. You also need to write a function that converts BDE coded to BE encoded. Yes, this is also plot relevant, this will be very useful. Next, you're going to calculate info hash. That is a hash value that uniquely represents the contents of your data. If even a single byte is changed in your Harry Potter movie, the hash value will drastically change. This like an ID or a primary key that the tracker and your your peers use to verify that they are sharing the same torrent even if they downloaded it from a different website. Now to calculate info hash, you'll need to convert the info dictionary back to be encoded format and calculate its SHA1 hash. Moving on to the second step. Now we know where the tracker lies and we just need to build a URL and send a request to the tracker so it can tell us where our peers are. This tracker also talks in the language of torrent so we'll need to decode its top secret message. Don't let the FBI know about it. Then you'll find out that the peers are written in bytes instead of numbers. So convert it into a list of IP plus port addresses and celebrate on making this far. Now the fun part begins. You see, peers are huge skeptics. They won't just share I want to eat your pancreas with anyone. First, you'll need to do a classic TCP handshake. Follow that by a BitTorrent handshake where you'll send information like protocol name, info hash and your ID and the peer sends you back the exact same items. Why? Because it's the protocol. Next. We gotta talk. The BitTorrent protocol establishes a message format that all peers use to communicate. Each message starts with a 4 byte length prefix, a 1 byte length message ID and payload. The ID can be any of the numbers from 0 to 8 that represent a particular state. Initially you are in a choke and not interested state. After the last handshake, peer might send bit field that tells you what pieces they have. You send an interested message proclaiming that you are interesting in downloading this piece. Then the peer sends you an unchoked message, meaning they won't give you the sexual gratification anymore. Uh, I mean, they are announcing that they are kind enough to send us that piece. The peer can also send us a choke message that means they are not kind enough to send us that piece. There's also a have field, meaning the peer has a field. It just says, look, I have this piece. Next, we send a request message asking for one piece or whatever anime you are watching. And finally, the PO starts sending us the piece to you with ID 7. You can also cancel it using ID number 8. Here, inside a while loop with a timeout, in case the PO stops responding, you keep appending the PO's received data to a hash map until you have fully received that piece. Once downloaded, you need to verify its hash. Once all pieces are downloaded and verified, you write the file to the disk. You can later add a functionality to write the file piece by piece instead of writing only when the entire file is finished. Implementing this handshake is is pretty simple once you know this. First, create a BitTorrent class with these constructor values. Then write the following definitions for TCP handshake, BitTorrent handshake, send interested message, send request for a piece, a generic receive message, a generic handle message, and to close the connection. Then write a definition outside the class that downloads a specific piece from a specified peer. And finally, a last definition that reads the torrent file, calculates info hash, peer list, and tries to download all pieces from the same piece. After this is finished, you can upgrade to a concurrent model where you are downloading data from multiple peers. By the way, let me know in the comments if you can tell why most BitTorrent clients use concurrency over threading. If you've made it this far, then this final step is the most fun and satisfying part. In the concurrent model, you will need a piece manager that keeps track of pieces that are needed, in progress, and those who are finished. You'll make coroutines for every peer. Each coroutine will first get the bit field of a peer, then download one of the 
masterpieces the pure has that is neither in downloaded nor in the progress set the loop continues until all available pieces from that pure has been downloaded once all pieces have been downloaded cancel all currently running task and save the file the challenging part is to look out for race conditions you need to strategically set locks on certain important variables and code blocks or some really bad things can happen such as losing four nights of sleep and a quadrillion neurons and you can take this project miles ahead you can implement the rarest first algorithm for downloading pieces instead of the sequential algorithm that we are currently using you can add functionalities to pause and resume upload support for peers a tui or gui magnet link and udb support or streaming mode to stream videos as they download or somehow add ai and launch it as a startup this is an epic video that i followed while creating this project you can also simply follow these steps i mentioned in this video and take some help from claude from time to time if you get stuck ask chat gpd to create challenges for the next step for you to solve there are certain parts such as calculating syntax for sha1 hash or some byte calculation that you cannot literally solve by yourself unless you are psychedelic or asking little help from chat gpd but instead of that you can also take reference of my code from my github i've added lots of comments and neatly arranged it so anyone can easily follow along although i would admit that the best resource is simply code crafter subscription where they'll neatly guide you every step of the way you also get access to tons of other really mind-blowing projects this video is not sponsored by code crafters but i do have an affiliate link that'll get you a 40 percent off if your brain size increased by watching this video kindly increase my subscriber count as well thanks for watching man there